Hollywood refuses to let the video game genre die, even if it is practically The Walking Dead. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Silent Hill Revelation 3D. I think there's someone following me. Come back here, Sharon. Love you. Thanks for walking me back. Yeah. Dad! What's going on? I know that symbol. This is it. Do you know what that is? While Resident Evil has been able to defy the odds and spawn five films, overall the video game adaptation has been a failed adventure for Hollywood. Even the genre's highlights like Lara Croft and Prince of Persia ended up being box office embarrassments laughed off the screen. Yet the studios keep hitting restart. Case in point, Silent Hill. The first film broke about even and Sony opted not to distribute a sequel. But because Silent Hill is a solid hit as a video game and well received by that community, newbie distributor Open Road was willing to pick it up. Open Road has been able to launch two films at number one, The Great End of Watch, and like any distributor, are eager to move into the lucrative horror genre. But of all the horror and video game properties out there, is Silent Hill really a good bet? Writing and directing duties have been handed over to Michael J. Bassett, a former children's television host who's hardly proven himself with the box office flop Solomon Kane. And while the Silent Hill video game is from Japan, Bassett hasn't taken this opportunity to draw on the distinct themes of Asian horror films, which also have a solid fan base, but instead opted for more generic gore. The only place Silent Hill Revelation 3D seems to really stand out is its cast. Sean Bean, Rhonda Mitchell, and Deborah Kara Unger return, while Malcolm McDowell and Carrie Ann Moss join them. As for our leads, Game of Thrones' Kit Harington makes his feature film debut alongside Australian ingenue Adelaide Clemens. But is this just the kind of bland horror movie young stars make on their way up, or does Open Road have another surprise hit on their hands? Let's go find out. So we have Diego here from Guatemala. He's a BTT viewer. He's been on the show before. He didn't get to go to see the movie. He was going to see Silent Hill today, right? Yes, I was going to see Silent Hill too. Um, I was trying to get like earlier, yeah. but then I, the, I, when I come into movie theater, they told me it was in 3D only, but it was like 20 minutes uh, already in, oh no. after the movie. So. What did you like about the first Silent Hill? Why? What I did? Yeah, what did you like about it? Well, it is uh, pretty much, it tries to capture the originality of the game and pretty much is kind of like, uh, you know, uh, like a, a thriller. Yeah. It keeps you hooked there where you are, what's up, what's going on, the story, what's up with the town, the huge siren, you know, when the town converts to a, a different realm. It's quite amazing. So, and the special effects for the first one, it was really good. So now in the second one, and the nurses, when I saw the trailer. Oh, you like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's good. Like, it's, it, it, you are like, <laughs> so it's, yeah. Well, I hope it's as good as you want it to be. We're going to find out in a few minutes how it is. Did you see the first Silent Hill movie? Yes, I did. All right. Do you have to see it to see this one? Um, yes. Yes, you do. Uh, it would help. I recommend it. Yes. Yeah? But def definitely not if you're into thrillers and gory horror films. I saw the first one. It was pretty good, but like, yeah. I got confused in the end. And so this one, I saw this one. It all made sense. Oh, in a good way? Yeah, it all made sense in a good way. I like the part that I like how they implemented the original movies into the, the new one and also added characters from the games. So they changed the creative team for the film. Yeah, I wasn't too happy about that, especially in the beginning because I enjoyed the first movie so much. The mm -hmm. writing was actually good for a horror movie, but uh, this picked up where it left off and I was impressed. The graphic, the storyline, everything was great. Yeah? yeah. It's, is it, do you play the game? Do you play the sound? Oh, game? yeah, yeah, definitely. I played once, but like, I was scared to play. Ah. <laughs> to keep going, but still, well, it's a good movie. The game is too scary. How about the, the movie? Is the movie the too good, scary? The movie was also scary. Yeah? It had its, own, it had its moments. Did you see it in 3D today? Uh, no, just regular. Yeah, did you, yeah. Do you feel you missed out? or? Yeah, maybe should just see it. <laughs> it's more expensive, and I just I wear glasses, so it's going to be a problem wearing gla glasses. You don't want to double glasses, glasses yeah, right? Yeah, it gets annoying after a while. <laughs> oh, I saw it last night in 3D. Oh, you, this is your second time? Oh, yeah. Wow, okay, so you've seen both. Which is better, 3D or non 3D? 3D, definitely. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah, did it have cool 3D moments? It actually scared me, and scary movies don't really scare me. I went to see Resident Evil, the newest one, and I was like, Psh. 
But this one I was like, oh, shit. Who was your favorite actor in the film? Well, I like the, the daughter, uh, uh, Sharon. Yeah? She, she acted it good, too. She, the, the actor was doing the movie good. She knew how to act and everything. I want to say Sean Bean, but uh, I'm a big, big Kit Harrington fan. Yeah? Yeah, both Are of them. Are you glad to see him in movies? Oh, yeah, definitely. What do you give it on a 1 to 10? I'll give it a 10. I'll give it a 10. I would give it an 8. Looks like Silent Hill is satisfying its fan base in spades, with them giving the sequel a 9. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.